material into your empty container to the specified mass that is needed. Turn off your balance by pressing the red power button. Before filling your mold with material, apply silicon mold release to the surface. Do this for both sides of the mold. If desired, nitrile gloves can be found on the west wall in the analysis lab. Safety precaution, apply your mold release above the workbench to prevent any of it from getting on the floor. Pour your weighed material into the prepared mold. Assemble your mold using the hardware in the drawer. In this case, we are using two Allen bolts and two nuts. Using a wrench and an Allen wrench, tighten the bolts. Hot gloves must be worn while unloading and loading your mold in the roto molder. They can be found in the middle drawer under the workbench. It is highly recommended that the Kevlar sleeve be worn in addition to the hot gloves in order to prevent burns to your arm. Unlatch and open the door to the roto molder. Retrieve your mold. Insert the mold into the rotating arm. Secure the mold using a cotter pin, which is located in the hardware drawer. Before processing, turn the motor on and ensure that the roto molder is functioning with two axes of rotation. If it is not, contact a professor or lab TA for assistance. If the two axes of rotation are functioning correctly, you may start your process. Latch the roto molding door in three locations. The bottom and the two top latches should be engaged. To start your process, turn on the motor and allow your part to form for a predetermined amount of time. Do not leave the roto molding machine unattended. Caution, the mold is extremely hot and hot gloves should be worn. There are four ways to cool your mold. Remove your mold and place it on the aluminum table for a predetermined amount of cooling time. Remove your mold and gently drop it into a bucket of water. Your part has now been quenched. Remove your mold and place it on the aluminum counter. Using the spray bottle filled with water, spray your mold. Remove your mold and cool it by keeping it in constant movement. You can disassemble the mold before it is fully cooled, but hot gloves should be worn. In this example, the mold is completely cooled. To disassemble the mold, use the wrench and Allen wrench to unscrew and remove the hardware. Using the brass tools and a mallet, open the mold on the wooden surface. Remove your part using the brass tools. Using the copper wool, clean any residual material off the surface of your mold.